The Brown Town Looters, homegrown in the streets of East LA. It's their backyard party vibe and laid back rhymes that put the looters on the verge of a commercial breakthrough. And they're just one of the many voices in the surging wave of Latino rap. There's a lot of hip hop out there. Latinos got dope hip hop to represent, you know? Brown Town Looters! Yeah. We caught up with a group in Montebello, where the leader of the Looters broke it down for us. You know, we've been doing this since like 89, you know, 90. We put the group together, and our work is finally getting recognized along with a bunch of other dope, you know, groups. One person who has her finger on the hip hop pulse is Kool Aid. Okay, look at my smile, because Fox was the first on the whole entire Latin hip hop movement. And now it's so large. Amanda Perez just signed a big deal with Virgin Shadow Spanish Fly. We've actually got Latin rappers as pop stars. But some rappers feel record companies aren't paying the attention that Latino rap deserves. The big labels, y'all gotta be looking out and you gotta do it right and you gotta hit us up, come correct. Still, more and more Latino rap DVDs are coming out, like Kool-Aid's hot new compilation and a documentary on Latino rap's history called Pass the Mic. Before, Latino rap was stereotyped, but now we got different flavors like a Nuevo Solo reggae. We got a lot of flavors that wasn't there before. Been doing it for six, seven years, and we're finding this year, 2003, hopefully is a year that we take it to the next level. Latin hip hop is blowing up, and ain't nobody gonna stop us. <laughs> okay, heard it right there.